Good morning. I just spent, I could say my first night, but I think it's been more than my first hour sleeping on my boat. I woke up to the sound of mosquitoes buzzing in my ear and now I am infested and killing mosquitoes and have bites all over me. So um, I don't think I'll be able to go back to sleep. So I'm going to go outside and take a little quick walk around the marina and see what's up. For those of you who are new here, my name is Lauren. I'm living aboard my 1993 Beneteau with my kitten, Mako. I've fallen my heart from Missouri to the Bahamas with the dream of living a sustainable and fully immersed life on the ocean. I hope you enjoy following along and joining this trying but amazing life. Thank you so much for subscribing and following along. Your support, especially Patreons, means the world to me and makes this dream possible. A little recap of everything. I made it to Puerto Rico and I spent my first night after a lot of back and forth with the yard for I don't know how long. Um, I knew the boat was going to need hauled out when the engine stopped on the sea trail in mid-August and it took until mid-November, well I guess is November 1st, where it finally got hauled out. The second week of November, I asked how progress was and they told me they hadn't even taken the old engine out to put the new engine in. And so I went to Joplin to see my family and spend two weeks with everyone. I left Joplin on December 3rd with the anticipation of flying to Puerto Rico that night. Plans changed and probably for the better and the boat was not ready till December 6th, 7th and finally I and this was so three or four days later and finally I said I'm going but it was kind of a blessing in disguise because I got to load everything up, pack a lot because I knew once I got to Fort Lauderdale, I wasn't gonna have much time. Just landed in Fort Lauderdale and this should be about the last of my groceries that I'm getting. I am trying to pack up my entire life and I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I'm supposed to fly out this afternoon or this evening, I guess, would be more accurate. And I've gone through all of this mostly and figuring out what I'm taking, what I'm not. I have two suitcases packed. I have my windlass. So that's gonna be fun. Um, hopefully I can get that through. I'm still running into complications, so I had to order more parts for the boat today for the engine. And but I'm on my way. And hopefully everything's gonna go smoothly and I'll be able to bring her home this time. So I'm a little overwhelmed, but I wanted to show you all this mess that I have going on right now. Stuff is everywhere. Then I have this little helper over here. He's helping so much he found a ribbon to hold on to, but he's not going with me, unfortunately. Even though his kicker is still out from our little trip to Joplin, so. Part one or part two of travels today. I have gone from the car to the track now, so I have another 45 minutes till I'm at the airport and not wait. It is also probably the most stuff I have ever traveled with. And shout out to Gilly Gear, you guys are always the best. This is an absolute lifesaver. And I don't have to walk three miles lugging four bags, so I'm ecstatic about this. Second floor. I have made it to my baby. She is so dirty, um, but I'm so excited I'm here. I'm on my boat, it's 4.30 in the morning. So I'll be up in about an hour to start work, but I'm happy I'm here. I'm looking a little rough. Um, when I got here this morning, the batteries were at 11.4, which is way too low. So I have plugged into shore power now. We are charging up our batteries and I just got news that we are going to be splashing the boat today. So I am ecstatic. I've been on here for a few hours and I've accomplished a lot and 
we're already about to splash. Good morning. Um, I got some sleep, we were at the dock. Last night was hectic before bed. It was my first official night on the boat. Um, the water had run dry probably due to this leak. And so all I wanted was a shower last night and um, it took about 30 minutes to get water in the tank and figure out um, which hose is connected to which tank and all that for the water pump. I'm gonna wash the boat because it is disgusting and I cannot wait to wash it again once all the work is officially done. And um, I don't know, I should have been filming a lot last night and I will get better at that. I'll be, now that I am plugged in and have limitless energy right now, I'm gonna plug my GoPro in so you guys can see a little bit more. It's another beautiful morning. The marina is full, the anchorage is full, and the sun is shining. My to-do list for this, or hopefully I can do all this before this week. Oh, there's the water pump. Um, this is the status of my room. That's my drawer. Um, yeah, this is a mess. My living room is still non-functional. That's gonna come down here, cover the engine. Bilge pump is still empty, so that's a positive. Um, but I cannot wait to organize this all. Just cables sitting everywhere. My cable for this is not long enough to reach the helm. It's a bit long enough to go outside, but um, for my crossing back, I'm probably gonna have this just sitting like right there. Run till I drop till I reach the top. I go all the way and I don't stop, don't stop. Do what I do when I'm on the move and I'm coming in fast. Can you keep up, keep up? Ready, set, go, and I'm on a road. Now red light, like green light, like go, go, go. I make it look good. Number one on the list today was this, getting this to work again because I'm pretty sure it's the source of my leak last night and I don't want to stay up all night checking the bilge again. So I'm going to have to replace this little nozzle because the spring inside it completely corroded and was in a million pieces. Second, this little thing, and I screwed it because I'm not replacing fiberglass. Um, replace a bolt over there. All little stuff and I have pumped up the dinghy she needs a little TLC so love um, but she's pumped up and we're gonna see how fast she deflates and where I need to patch her up so obviously the house not looking too right I'm waiting on my stainless pieces they just came and measured angles and all that is good to go so they just said it should be done around Monday and the guy can come install everything. Hopefully still leave Wednesday. Um, I'm just enjoying the view. Patience in the waiting. But the big thing to come up here is I get to take this out. I am taking it out because I have to hit this with a hammer to release and that's not going to work too well when I am trying to single hand this boat and I want it wired to my helm and I can't do that when it's only a manual release so I'm replacing a windlass that is electric both ways. I still had a ton of motivation and decided to take the TV off. A little update 
um, I ordered the wrong one list. I think I mentioned that. It is day four, day five. Today's Sunday. I got here on Wednesday very early in the morning. Um, it, working on a boat is a little different when you own it and are not just working on it and are in a time crunch. Um, kind of processing everything at the moment. My windlass that I bought two, three months ago for this boat does not fit, it was the wrong one. Um, the chain fits, but I didn't really think about the other things. Um, rookie air. And now I need to, I'm supposed to leave on Friday and my bow is not done and I don't have a windlass. The welding is almost done on the bow. Um, the bow roller and stem head fitting should be done today and hopefully start being installed today. Um, I just found out that I can get my windlass. Um, it's gonna be shipped today, overnighted. I don't know if they'll be here Tuesday or Wednesday. Today's Monday. And I was headed to the pool because everything is out of my control right now. I am just here waiting and doing as much as I can, but there, I'm, my boat is, let me show you this room. I still need cables wired from my engine to my helm and I can't clean that room yet because of it and I have all this stuff I'm getting rid of from this boat in there so it's just a waiting game and hopefully I can still leave on Friday I am so ready I honestly am very stressed I am so grateful for some of my neighbors who have dragged me out at night and said hey come take a break get dinner with us um it's What's going on? You're having Picture. shots of something. It's going to be epic. Epic. This looks great and sweet. You want to like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. Is this uh, chocolate or coffee? It is made out of chocolate. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Chocolate's good. <laughs> Tomorrow it'll be good. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah. You drink a bottle of this. Of yeah, mine's the full one. No, it is not. Yeah, because mine's the coldest. No, take my bag. My bag, yep. Last night I had an amazing night. I got in bed early. I woke up early this morning, got to spend some time with God, and got to go on a run, which I haven't done in probably a week. So everything is, I think, coming together now. I've been a mess the past uh, 24 hours at this point. Um, so everything's moving along, and I'm so excited. Today is Tuesday. I need to climb the mast today. Never done that actually because this flew off in the past three months and I can't see what the wind speed is from my home. And I'm about to do a seven day crossing so I kind of need that. But my force day is not done yet either so I can't climb the mast until my force day. I don't want to climb the mast until the force day is put back in place. My windlass is in Ponce, actually. I just checked that. So everything is coming together. It's super exciting. Frank flying in tomorrow to help me with the crossing and everything's good. I'm so excited. I just got back from a grocery run. I guess that can't go on YouTube. to do my first oil change once I can actually start my engine. The mechanics were here this morning and apparently left before they were done. My new control panel is being installed. So as soon as that is installed, I get to start uh, running the engine so I can change the oil my first oil change. Because the control panel is almost installed, this is coming that's together and we're getting there once my windlass is done I can put the bike away 
but this room is put back together. So now I have all three rooms. Well, almost getting there. I get to unload the groceries now and clean up more since I can finally do that. I'm excited. So um, I am sitting here just there. People are outside working on the bow and I feel dead. I feel defeated right now. I just really want to leave on Friday. I've short on time and I need to get to the states. I need to get everything done. But at a good grocery run, I got engine oil and one bedroom is coming together and I still haven't figured out the whole bilge pump thing. Dinghy is still leaking. I thought I fixed that three times now. Every time's a little bit less, so I think we're getting there. But making progress. It is Wednesday. The window should be installed today. And my helm should actually be able to control the engine from the helm. And then I can run the engine and change the oil hopefully tomorrow planning to get fuel early tomorrow morning before the guys show up to finish my bow. Hopefully everything runs smoothly. I don't, I try not to count on it running smoothly, but I'm really hoping it will. So fingers crossed for these next two days. I have a lot of food to cook to prepare, but I also have a lot of other stuff to do. So we're gonna try to squeeze it all in. Getting my propane fill today. I'm lucky I have some good neighbors that are gonna go do it for me. Save a car. Still have not figured out the bilge pump. This is the status of my bilge pump. This little pump likes to spit water and make the most obnoxious sound. I can't get that filter undone. I don't even know if that's the issue or not. I clean the filter at the bottom of the hose. The manual one works, but it just doesn't have a non-return valve and the automatic just doesn't want to suck water and I have really never taken it apart and it's so old that I'm kind of a little intimidated by this project to be honest well I just spent 20 minutes in like a few days trying to get this out um, I guess I won't be able to have AC. That's nice. I don't usually need AC, but there is no wind at night here and the mosquitoes are terrible. On Thursday morning, we fixed the bilge pump and by the evening, my whole bow was done, all the stainless steel and everything was finished and we were ready to set sail Friday afternoon. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Patreon. See you next week when I set sail from Puerto Rico to Florida.